Hey everyone, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you, uh, you how to um, create a basic network topology with two VPCs and an Ethernet switch in GNS3 GUI graphical user interface. Uh, in GNS3 Windows graphical user interface running on Windows 10. So I'm going to open up this application. So this is actually a network, uh, a free open source network emulator software used for network configuration and troubleshooting. I wait for it to come up and I wait for it to come up just a while. Wait a while, a little, wait for a little while. It's still running, still running. Yeah, so this is the application. Once you open it up, this is what it's going to show. So I'll probably wait for a window to still connect into the local host. So I'll wait for the window to pop up where I can create uh, a new project for this uh, design, network design. So I'll call this, okay, I'll call this, uh, this is a window. So I'll call this, I'll name this project, first project. I hit okay. So you can see that our first project has been created. So I'll go to my devices section. I'll locate my VPC, click and drag it to the uh, worksheet. So I'll click, select under VPC, click and drag to the worksheet. So next thing is I'll go to my switch, click, drag to the worksheet. Yeah, so we have our switch here. So next is uh, is to add a link. So I'll go to, uh, uh, um, well, don't we disclose this. Go to my link, add the link section. If you hover your mouse, you can see that it's showing add a link. So I've selected that. I'll click on my VPC or my PC and select the Ethernet zero, drag to the switch, select Ethernet zero port or any of the ports. So I'll click on Ethernet, uh, click on the switch, Ethernet switch again, select uh, Ethernet zero as the selected, so I select Ethernet one, drag it to PC two, select Ethernet zero. So if we have, we have our link there. So I'll click on the link to cancel the effect. And then I can now play, I can now play the, the notes to start up the notes. So now, next thing I want to do is um, go to my console to open up the console window for both pieces. So I can enlarge the screen, the console <coughs> screen or window for this. Uh, I right click on the tab here and scroll down to change settings, click it, appearance, and click on change. So over here, I'll select the bold font star and the size will be 20, or you can select any size you want. Click OK, click Apply. Go to the other uh, PC uh, console, right click on the tab, select Change Settings, Appearance, Change, Bold, 20, OK, Apply. So we now have we now have for both uh, PC uh, bigger screens. So I can assign an IP address of fifty or any any IP address at all. You wish dot one and a class C subnet max CIDR twenty four. So I'll hit enter from my keyboard to assign an IP address to PC one. So I'll do the same for PC two IP address of fifty. Dot fifty dot fifty dot two. They should be in the same class. They should be in the same uh, network. And subnet max of twenty four. So it will assign an IP address to PC two. So now let me test for connectivity. So using pink utility. So I'll test for connectivity from PC one to PC two. So fifty dot fifty. 
hit enter. So you can see that we didn't receive an error, which shows that our configuration is correct. And in order for me to do the same test for connectivity from PC2, so I have to use the ping command 50.50.50.1, ping PC1 from PC2, hit enter. So ping is actually a utility that is used to test connectivity between devices or network devices. So I can enlarge the screen and save the configuration, save my configuration, save. So I'll do the same for PC2 on the console. Let me enlarge the screen, save the configuration. So we are done with this. So I can minimize this and stop this process or end this. So that's basically what you need to do in how to create in creating uh, topologies in uh, GNS3 GUI, uh, Windows GUI. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.